Well, gaming has been declared by many as the ultimate meritocracy, a place where player skills and strategies can help bring them to the top. But that doesn't mean some players don't struggle. And now developers are making a big push to help. Fox News correspondent Eamon Dignam has more from New York. Evil Controllers makes game accessories for top-tier competitive gamers, but now they're changing focus, customizing controllers for players with physical disabilities, including this one built for someone who had his left hand amputated. The push to help impaired gamers also including folks with visual impairments, like blindness. They can now enjoy games based on sound and movement with the Bose AR sunglasses. Bose teamed up with game maker Playcrafting to make a game based on Monty Python and the Holy Grail, where you launch an unsuspecting bovine towards a Frenchman taunting you from a high castle wall. The owner of Playcrafting also tells us he sees a lot of potential for GPS and other more functional uses. Another game studio, Wraith Games, will soon be releasing a motion control puzzle game called Collapsus, with more than 40 disability options. The gaming world also putting a focus on mental health. Destiny's Sword follows soldiers in a futuristic war where they suffer through anxiety, depression, and post-traumatic stress disorder. The player's job is not to fix them, but to learn how to help them through their journey. And that's your insider's cheat code to helping disabled players level up. In New York, Eamon Dignam, Fox News.